Like dreaming vacation, but waking up thinking back. Life gotta keep chasing, ain't going nowhere till this bag right. Father, forgive me, I'm on my own. Tired of praying for me, said take patience. I'm in a rush, I think that he ignored it. Granny, watch over me, keep the heat, but I can't see him all. They smile in your face to get a clear shot and take it all. Watching your enemies whole time and really be your dogs. Who can you trust? I trust no one, cause I don't. And I'm just yeah. the temptation. That, that's what I'm talking about. Fighting the temptation. Yeah, the temptation. All she okay. has is an attraction. Fighting. Oh, now right, you so. are. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. All right, so better word we're gonna use the attraction. Is the attraction for another person born learned for one of the comments it was born people could be born with that attraction two if it's learned three if it's something else Okay. All right, so let me give an example. If a man well, hold says, on, number two, can I say something? Number ten, because you, you got a chance says, to speak. If a man says, "Oh, um, <laughs> I, I, you know, I see men, and I think, I, I, I think I would lay down with them, but I'm not. I'm fighting that temptation." Would you oh, still Lord. consider him straight? I, it's the same shit. It's watching. It's the same shit. I like watching lesbian porn, but I've never slept, slept with a woman. Mm -hmm. You cannot be pseudo gay. You have to actually do gay shit. Right, be gay. Like, if you, you do it in your mind, you might as well do it in the family. If you do it in your mind, you might as well do it in the family. Let me like, 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 talk about it. Can I, can I say something? Shockingly, shockingly, I actually agree with number 10. I don't think you have to do gay shit to be gay. Attraction, we, we need to stop acting like we don't know what attraction means. If you look at a woman and your dick get hard or your pussy get wet, that's an attraction. If you look at a woman, you feel like you want to be with that woman and for the rest of your life and you get butterflies in your stomach and you feel warm and gushy inside, that's romantic attraction. You are fucking gay. So, I mean, we, we got to stop acting like, well, we don't know what attraction means. People who are much smarter than us have debated this already and tested it and done scientific tests and we so don't have to believe them, but this nature, like, this, nature this nature versus nurture conversation has been had already. And with the molestation theory, the molestation theory was saying that, oh, you know, they may have been blessed, they may have been gay. That works on the pr presumption that everybody is born straight. So if you're saying that they were molested to become gay, you're working on a presumption that's wrong presuming that everybody's born straight and then they're they're therefore turned gay by being molested when the reality is scientists have shown that in most cases when people are molested they become traumatized and typically become numb to it so their 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 sexuality is affected in a way where they're sort of numb to things not that they become aroused by men all of a sudden aroused become See, become aroused by women and become gay when people try their to trauma push makes the them numb shit on you when people try to, if i find a female attractive and I don't sleep with her. Me finding a female attractive does not make me gay. That does not make me gay. Oh. That's truly attractive. If, if, if truly a man attractive? finds a non a man attractive, he's gay. Period. Exactly. I don't give a fuck. You're, You're not gay. You're bisexual. You're bisexual. So, You're bisexual. You're not bisexual. gay. Y'all are dumb. So, so, so they, that's when they, you know, the people say the curious concept. They say that they're curious. So giving a so giving a nice looking woman a compliment means you're gay. Y'all sound childish. I think they're talking about the, the attraction. If they never tried it before, I think that they're, they're curious, but it doesn't make them actual. Look, you can be curious all the fuck you want to. It's about committing yeah. the act. To me. Yeah. To me, it's about the act. And it, that's, that's going to be subject to the person. It's about the And it's going to be subject to the It's going to be subject to the person to however they perceive it. Some, person, some people won't perceive it and say, you know, but if you think about it in your mind, you are a certain way. Some people say, well, no, if you ain't act on it, you ain't a certain That don't mean you're a certain way. So I think it's going to be uh, based on the person. Yeah. Quick. Whether, whether it's bisexual, 
um by curious i don't know what the word is it's not straight if you're sexually uh, uh, attracted to the same sex if you give a woman a compliment that's not sexual attra attraction you're just giving a woman a compliment if a man Girl, like, well, you, you look that's good that's you look that's good that's you, look good, dude. you look good that's not i don't think women can be gay that's your opinion that's your opinion that's when i said that's what i that's when I said, when the person in the comments said, the spiritual thing, when the person in the comments said spiritual, that's why I said the temptation. It's about not indulging in the temptation. It's about that's fighting the temptation. That's, that's what I'm saying. If, 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 if in my mind, I perceive that I'm, I am ran inside the bank and took out all the money at the bank, and I, you know what I'm saying, does that make me a thief? If it only occurred in my mind, because I be thinking about hitting the licks all the good motherfucking time. I ain't even capital. I didn't just go inside this bank and give me a motherfucking couple million. I'm Gucci. So that's why I said it's going to be subject to the person. Well, I have to get perspectives based on that aspect. Still, no, it's not yeah, subject to the person because let me, say, let me say this, Dad. It's not subject. Out. I you give the worst. You it's give the, the worst analogy, Brandon, because I'm killing one of you bitches, but that don't mean I'm gonna do it. It's the same. Brandon, you, get, you might. Brandon, you my, give the worst analogy because you, you, you you're attracted. My 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 my, my bad, y'all. Some knowledge I may give may be offensive to certain folks. So my bad, I'm not not being politically correct. But go ahead. Your attraction is intrinsic to you. Being a thief is not something that's necessarily intrinsic to you. I want to go back real quick to what you said, too, about when the police officers see you, they see you black first. So therefore, you should consider yourself black before gay. Well, why in the fuck would I define my identity and prioritize the different aspects of my identity based on how people discriminate against me? Oh, people, if a, do, should a woman put her put her womanhood first or put her blackness first? Or should, she, or should, she, should she decide based on how people discriminate against her? No, she should decide and prioritize it based on what's important to her and, and what's, whether or not she thinks those identities, her what's identities true? are equal. And also, you said, well, they see you black first. When they look at you, they see you black first. Well, that's not necessarily true. If I come up on any straight panel, they clock me right away. They can hear the gay in my voice. When I interview for a job, y'all hear the gay in my voice, and you may or may not hire me because you can hear that gay in my voice. You can look at somebody's face. You look at gay boys on here and look at their facial expressions and, and, and their facial structure even and tell they gay sometimes. Whether they're wearing makeup or none of that shit, you I'm can tell they gay by their facial Jake. structure. Jake. Jake, Jake, you don't sound gay to me. You sound educated. Well, a lot of people clock it. A lot of people clock it. A lot of people hear the femininity. The last thing I want to say before and, I go back to listening, the last thing, 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 the last well, no, they see I'm, that too. They see the crop. They they hear that. I mean, and 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 we don't live in a vacuum where people I'm only just look at you from across the room. Right here, don't we don't live in a vacuum now. where people only look at you across the room and discriminate. We interact with people in the world. We talk to people, but so they I'm can decipher that you're gay when they talk to you. That you are gay. I'm talking about you. You can. You can look at a trans woman and tell. I'm talking about that you. She's a trans you woman. But, but, no, I'm talking about you. But but Jake, 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 I don't care. I don't give a fuck who it is. Before your, uh, you being a woman. Before you being a your orientation, whatever it may be, you are looked at by your skin color. That's how society is. Society perceives you by your your uh your skin color. That's how this world is. Sound crazy, but it's true. Yeah, That's like I'm not truth. looking at him like, oh my god, he's gay. That's not the first thing. The first thing I'm noticing <laughs> that he's a black man that that talks like he's educated. That's it. I would have well, never as a black person who's experienced homophobia and racism, I can tell you that they, they do both. And y'all actually do uh, homophobia. Y'all get together, white people and black people, on the homophobia uh, 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 more than white people do the racism. And when and I say y'all, I mean homophobic. Homophobic. Stop trying to distract me, Al. Come on, be fair, Al. I wouldn't even think that all of us in the No, you're not letting me get my sentences out, Al. You're not being fair, Al. But that's not true, though, because you true, If it were true, if it were true that people are more racist, than they are homophobic, then gay people would have had rights before the civil rights movement. There would have been a red civil rights called. movement, and then later a gay rights movement. There would have been there would have been a gay rights movement before a black rights movement if if racism was was uh, so less frequent. You knew you was gay before you knew you was black. 
He doesn't even. What look difference black. does that make? I'm both of them now. I'm both no, of them no, now. No, so no, so no, whether no, one developed no, no, the no, difference no, no, or the other, you you knew you were black. Before you knew you were black. No, you want me to prioritize being black because that benefits no, you, and you, me, and you want me, and you want, and what it doesn't, what I'm saying to you, Beth, is that it doesn't matter. Mm-hmm. Uh, he he doesn't matter. matter. I'm both he of them. I'm 11 and 12. I'm both of them. You knew you were black first. You knew you were black You told, you told me, y'all told me I was a sissy when I was five or six. I didn't tell you that. Y'all told me I was a sissy when I was 11. You would never understand. He's like mixed or something. So you want me to no, I do agree that each person prioritizes what's important to them. Just because society sees you black first doesn't necessarily mean that's how you see yourself first. I prioritize mm-hmm. that ain't, that ain't what I said. I prioritize what I said, what I said was I said, did he know he was black? First, I don't care what or did he know he was gay? At, period. That's what I said. I said, mm. did he know he was black first or did he know he was gay? That's what I said. Did you know you were a woman first, or did you know you were black a black woman first? Did you know you were black first? Black. Which one do you black. prioritize? Black. But you were a woman at the same time, though. So why did black. you know she was decide a girl? She I'm wasn't a woman yet. Child, you were female. You were female at the same time, though. So I when knew you I were was, a child, I had to when learn that I was a four female. Five years old, that, that's the where it comes in that with you discovering saw was, yourself. Oh, I'm black. That's no, where it comes to discovering yourself and your parents telling you that. What you, you know mean? when you're born, you know you're a little girl first. Yeah, I'm before a girl. This, yeah. all this black shit yeah. come come afterwards because of society. You know you're no, a little you were girl. Black. You know you're a little boy. You were definitely black before. So. Oh, I'm black. Or uh, you, you know, so, I mean, it depends. Yeah. Everybody y'all look speak at for y'all self. Stop trying so, to speak for me. Yeah, so, everyone speak for y'all self. Y'all. So, yeah. so that that's definitely true. When you was we was all kids, we knew we were boys and girls first, definitely. Uh, but I think definitely. Uh, but I think growing up in this world and understanding the world, how the world is, our blackness became priority before gender orientation, anything else like that. I feel like I feel like blackness, we have to prioritize that. Younger, boy, girl, we knew that. But I, I don't see how in this world, I I, it's really hard to say. I don't know how y'all can't understand your level of the melanin, what the melanin in your skin means more than anything like to me that's kind of that's kind of hard you know what i'm saying and everybody gonna be subject to the person but it's kind of hard to just even fathom that like damn before y'all anything uh, everybody want to be right on this panel and y'all annoying as fuck what up savage mm-hmm. hey, no, no. Hey. Go ahead, no, no. Finish what you're saying, no, no. I mean, everyone has a, you know, has a right to their own opinion. That's why we're all yeah, up there having like a conversation. Yeah, but it's like y'all trying to push some down people's throat. No, I'm we're not trying to push something. it. We're just trying and it's to like explain you're trying to correct our something. point. Just don't like don't try to correct your me. point. Don't don't try to correct me. I'm talking about myself. Nobody else. Okay, yeah. and I'm talking about myself. No, no. You was talking about a group of people. You was talking about it in I was group form. Facts. You were talking about when we're born, when we're little girls and little boys, Look, that's when the first we, thing we, we see. It's we, society that we. start pushing that black, we. white, and other shit. Let, Brandon, let's have a talk. Society look at us. Society is not always been right. Up long y'all, Can can't, we y'all can't say that society is uh-huh. always right. It's not. So Girl, I don't how give a damn you about, feel about I yourself is how you look this. at yourself, not what society is telling you. I wasn't talking about no society, but okay. Hey, Sam. Yeah. Hey, I'm just, I'm just listening right now. I'm, I'm just listening, trying to see yeah. what everybody' perspective. Well, is. I got something to say. As a woman, a black woman, I put my race first because I'm. We're not out here getting killed because we're women. <laughs> Only mm-hmm. thing is, we get paid less. We get, you know what I'm saying? Like, we just fighting for women's rights for, you know, certain things, but we not fighting to survive as women. So mm-hmm. I'm black mm-hmm. before I'm a woman, and then I'm a woman, yeah. So as a little girl, you're not even worried about racism. You don't even know what yeah. that is until it's presented yeah. to you. So so I get what you're saying, um, Box 11, but... As a little girl, you're not worried about either one. When you grow up, 
The yeah. first thing as a woman you're presented mm -hmm. with is racism. Mm -hmm. When you go try mm -hmm. to get a job and then things like that, that's then funny. that's when we start struggling with women rights and, and the unfair shit as a woman mm -hmm. we go through. But mm -hmm. first is always racism. Mm -hmm. So I'm a black woman first and I'm a woman. That's sad. As well. Before you're a black woman, no, it's you're not a sad. Girl. That's my opinion. It's sad Before that you're you're don't black respect woman, other people's opinions, but you want everybody to respect said, your opinion. Girl, that's what's opinion. sad. Listen, uh, I think the difference in opinion here is that I don't define my identity by adversity. So so I don't and I don't prioritize <laughs> who I am based on adversity. So if a white person hates me more well, we because I'm gay, I'm not going to say I'm gay first because a white person hates the gay side of me more. I'm not going <laughs> to say I'm black first because a black a white person hates the black side of me more. And why the fuck the fact that y'all are even asking a person to prioritize one aspect of their identity Nobody proves my point that you want them to thing. prioritize something that benefits you. What does no, it even mean to prioritize being just, black first? Does that mean I, does that mean I go to the black parade before I go to the gay parade? I'm going to go to both that. parades. No, no. But, but, but hold on, Jay. That's not what we're saying. I'm just saying when it comes down to prioritize how you want, but I'm just saying in this world, when it comes like the most, what matters the most, or what we should be proud of, or what we should prioritize and understanding how our, our traits or our presence what our present means in this world, I think our black side before anything else. If you get pulled up by the police, I, I keep saying this analogy. Even though you like, you know, we shouldn't base it upon that, but that's just the reality. Jobs. They look at you black, black. School, black. Everything is black. Business loans, black, black. Any type of black. So systematically, I feel like you have to prioritize your blackness and understand what your black representation means into this world. When we are younger, definitely we understand boys and girls. That's all we really knew about. We didn't really, we didn't know about society. We didn't know about systematic stuff. As we grew up, definitely stuff started changing. We started understanding the world. That's why it's hard to be like, you know what? But I definitely understand why you feel a certain type of way about your your identity uh number six i'm glad you you made that point about y'all are not fighting to survive because we are lgbt people we're fighting to survive all of the planet we are and i think some women are too actually fighting to survive in some countries where they don't have equal rights to be so oppressed that's how i feel no that's we are oppressed but it's like you but, want uh, y'all to be so oppressed brandon no, okay, Brandon, if, you, if, if, I, if I had prioritized, no, Eb, you're not being fair again. Eb, you're not being I'm fair again. Eb, you doing it again. If I had prioritized being black, <laughs> if, if we as LG, black LGBT people had prioritized being I'm black, just, I'm saying, I would be dead wait, right now. No, we would be like, dead because y'all don't give a so fuck about black. us or our rights or our equal rights. So if I put being black first, you would still exist and we would all be dead. We would have no rights. separate himself I'm confused as fuck yeah, up here. <laughs> and and, and y'all keep talking about not pushing it on kids. Oh my LGBT God. kids aren't safe around y'all. Yeah, this this conversation quick. proves this conversation so, proves so, that LGBT so, children so, are not safe around y'all. We are the ones who got to say, hey. So, 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 what? Oh, hold on, let me see. Steph, uh, Steph J. Savage. Hold on a second. So, Brandon, when you when you're giving him these black men uh, examples of getting pulled over or just whatever the situation that black people black men have to go through, let alone being gay, mm -hmm. you know they go through their own things too. But yeah, he's not. I don't feel like when I look at his picture, I don't feel like he's black or not. Uh, not to say it like that, but he's kind of mixed. So maybe he don't know what black men really go. You know what I'm saying? Maybe he don't uh, never had to worry about not getting a job because of his last name. Oh, oh okay. He, so I he looks kind of like, light skinned. You feel me. like the, the level of blackness, you feel like a uh, lighter tone black people don't have it as much as those who have heavy melanin. I understand what you're saying. Is that a troll picture though? Or is that really him? I don't freaking know. I mean, well, that's real. Like, we, we, that's real. Like, I understand what she's saying, but whether that's the case or not, I don't, I'm not for sure. But 
No, that's real talk. Yeah. I'm not even trying to be funny, but you you know, black people, meaning dark skinned people, get pulled over and we the suspects and this, that, and the third all the time, opposed to yeah. a mixed breed person. Yeah, I understand what you're saying. I definitely understand what, you, what you're saying. So just because somebody, even though at the end of the day, black is black. If you're a person of color, whether you're lighter skin or darker tone, like it don't matter. They I mean they ultimately they're gonna uh put you in a certain box, definitely. Please don't act like we we naive to this. Y'all know what the hell I'm talking about. Please don't act like we naive. Okay, regardless of if a cop pull a light skinned motherfucker over, he's still black. He's still black. He's still yeah, black definitely. to him. You you still so, a nigga. So Thank you. Still, right, what I'm what and don't yeah. let him be able to yeah. tell you mix. Don't let him yeah. be able to tell you mix. Yeah, you so think he definitely. give a fuck about that? So no, ma'am. Definitely uh when you black, you black. At the end of the day, they don't like look at you like you black. But when it comes to being accepted more, of course, when it comes like to society, even with Hollywood, like a lighter person, when it comes down to it, uh, is more acceptable. Like the darker skin, the more darker you are, is being feared as more as a threat. Like that's the reality of it. Even if y'all get you see some people get certain types of awards or something like that, who they usually give award to? The little chocolate woman or the the light skin, fair tone black woman? If they want to give out something. We got to be real. That's a lot of time how that goes. So I understand what you said. What Steph was analogy. Steph was trying to put out on that aspect. Whether that's the case, I'm not for sure. Whether that's the case, I'm not. I'm yeah. not for sure. Oh, I'm unmuted. Okay, that's different scenarios, Brandon. Different scenarios, of course, we yeah. know that. You know, but I thought she was talking about just one specific thing. But no, yeah, no, different no. scenarios, definitely. of course. Yeah, definitely. If you black, you know yeah, what I'm saying? We at the end of the day, you still you still an N R G G A. They're gonna look at you. you person of color, they're gonna look at you the same way. She's saying he probably don't know from that aspect, but that's why he prioritizes his orientation more than his blackness. Mm. Crazy. The reason that I don't it's, prioritize don't gay over I don't not prioritize even who, who black I don't prioritize gay over black or black over gay. I said they're equal. And I think that people, uh, I think black men, whether they're gay or straight, uh, face discriminatory and, and, and racist actions. But there is a such thing as colorism. There is a such thing as colorism. And they do care if you light skin. They are going to treat somebody who's light skin and mixed mm -hmm. race differently. That is not me in that picture, by the way. I am a black man. I'm a light, light brown skin black man, but I'm still black. And that's not me in that picture. That's a troll picture. Uh, and the other thing I want to say is gay men are raised differently than straight men we're conditioned oh, we're conditioned Lord. differently so the reason <laughs> so the reason that more black straight men are getting in trouble with the law not not harassment and racial discrimination and oppression but the reason they wound up getting in more trouble with laws because they're raised differently they're taught to go out and, and get things a different way than we're taught to go out we're taught to keep our heads down because of the abuse and oppression that we face from other black people we're taught not to keep our way. heads down and, and find Wait. success and hey, yo, hold up. let me they're ask taught, you a question but they're, they're taught to be confident yeah, enough they're taught to be confident enough to go out in the streets and sell drugs and do all kind of other crazy shit. So, so wait, hold on, oh my God. They so, so wait, 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 wait. Can I get a mute right quick? I've been real quiet. So oh, basically, hold on a second, second y'all. So get, basically, I'm, I'm talking about box nine. Mute. So mute. are you saying that black men. Hold on, Savage, I got you. Hold on. Where's Savage at? So basically, with everything you just said, you're basically state, stating the stereotypes of what other races say about our black people. So it sounds to me that you really don't relate to the black experience at all. Because you just really, you really just repeated what they say about us, about how our black men are raised to be in the streets. That's not always the case. So it makes me wonder, do, when you say that you're coming forward as a, a man that is gay first, is it because, like our comment was saying, you don't really relate to the black experience of a black man? It really don't have nothing to do with the raising of the man. It has something to do with the man in itself. Not always the, that we're put in the streets. That's not automatic. There's many men in the that has been raised in amazing homes and still end up in the streets. So that's a stereotype that you have taken from another race that has absolutely nothing to do with us. So my question to you is, you is it because you only relate to 
being gay because you really don't understand the black experience? Because how you were raised does not mean that you're automatically going to be gay. And how you were raised don't mean that you're automatically going to be in the street. You're saying some things. You saying some shit that I didn't even say. I never said that I prioritized being gay first, and I certainly never said and never will say that I prioritize being black first. What I said was I prioritize them both equally because they're both equally important. I would never tell you I'm black first, and I would never tell you I'm gay first because I'm both at the same time, and I always have been. Uh, to the point of uh, you said a bunch of shit, but the. What I want to say is most of the black men who have been in jail and been in prison are there because they've been selling drugs and, and living a, a kind of life that led to that. Uh, that's not true. Most gay men that's aren't true. living that what? kind of life. That's not that's, that's, that's a stereotype. That that's what I'm life. saying. You're, you're using stereotypes against stereotype. your own community. That's a stereotype. It's a ste so it's a, just, there's plenty of women that has raised amazing black men. That is a stereotype that is taking a place on our community. That is not always the truth. You got a man up in, in the host box right now and it's coming from the trenches of California. He ain't in the streets. He been around the hood all day, his whole life. He's not in the streets. So you're taking the stereotypes of what America has placed on the black man. And it's not always true. You're not even making a point. You're just saying this person's been in the streets. What, are, what yeah, you're trying to claim, you're I'm saying, I'm not, I'm not understanding what you're saying you're about. Saying I'm not you're saying that most black men are in the streets right now because of how they were raised. That is not always the truth. That's not what I said at all. That is not no, always the truth. No, you're not even listening to what I'm saying. That's what, what I said, said was, most black like men, what I said you was, number eight, that. number eight. You're number saying eight. about the way that number they were eight. raised. Hold on, said, hold on, Ann, hold on. Eight. Yes, you did. Number you eight. said that they were no, raised by the way that No, now you're just telling me to hold on so you can tell me what I said. So you're trying to tell me what I said and talk over you. did. What I said was, most of the black men who have been to prison and been to jail doing long terms are there because of crimes they committed you and decisions that, that they made, not, the not because of oppression. Like now, there, there is some, there, there, there is, they, they, they do get harsher they're sentences. Not there because of they oppression. They do Wait get harsher sentences. The black no, it's not hold on because you, you're trying to respond and tell me what I said. Why I came up here so how can you be hold that on if you're trying to tell me what I said? I'm trying to clarify what I said. Exactly, Moses. Bro, like you you're saying said, that you said that yes, you were you raised did. differently than than us heterosexual black men, and I'm just trying to understand. I did it. say that. If, if two, sure if two brothers that. were raised, if two brothers were raised in the same house. Right. I didn't say raise. I said culture mm -hmm. differently. I didn't say raise. What do you mean culture? I said because that's of the oppression. You, you I said that's because of the you did not say raise. You did not use the term. You did not use the term culture. And even if I did say raise, you, you know what I meant was listen, the, listen, the way listen, we're bro, cultured can I, can in I the I black mine? community. You, you, was, you was begging for these women to let you finish speaking. Can I finish speaking? Just, and just they never did, but you can go ahead. And they never did, but go ahead. Well, my, my whole thing is, bro, because you was going on and on. I just want to stick to the point of w raising kids, right? Two two black males, one that potentially might end up gay and another that potentially might be a heterosexual, right? I don't believe that we uh, we should look at the way that we rear children and assess this uh, at, at, at an age of being a child, whether or not you're going to be gay 